Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And as you can tell, we have eggs on our mind. Also in our hands, we have too many eggs, arguably. We need to go hide these as part of the Hermitcraft Easter egg hunt. Whoa, how am I doing that? I didn't even know you could backstroke in Minecraft. Look, it is truly an Easter miracle. But either way, uh, I think I'm going to start drowning soon if I'm not careful. So we're going to switch back into uh, first-person mode and ascend near Grian's house here. This is where we need to put our first egg. So let's take that off of our head and find a good place that Grian would never look for the egg. Now, we can do it anywhere that we don't have to really dig or, or anything. So I couldn't just punch a hole in this wall, right? If I punch a hole in the wall and then put the egg like back in there, that that's cheating. So we're not going to do that. Um, now, it does make it hard though, because we could just leave it laying out. You know, when you do an Easter egg hunt for little babies, you usually just leave the, uh, leave the eggs just lying around in like a big open field like this. But I feel like we really need to treat our professional colleagues and peers on the Hermitcraft server like at least maybe first to third graders. So we're not going to just put the egg right here and say, good luck, Grian. I believe in you. That's, that's a little bit too patronizing, even for us. So... Let's go ahead and try and find a subtle hiding place. Now, we can affix these item frames underneath things like that. Watch. Boop. Now, that's also still too obvious, but core concept, um, y'all can see how there's a lot of options for us to hide things. In fact, maybe we want to go up on top of this bouldery thing here. Ooh, like, see, inside the tree. This is getting a little bit more well concealed, right? We could we could hide the egg in there. We could uh, put it inside this mechanism. Oh, look at this fancy mechanism! You know, I I love the idea of trying to put it inside this thing, but I'm not sure that there's actually a reasonable place to do that. Hmm. Let's just examine this from all sides. Oh wait, you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this first Joe Hill's egg right there. And now we have to use a special command to hide the um, to hide the item frame. Trigger if underscore invisible. Oh, that did not hide it. Hmm. Do I have to be, maybe I have to be targeting it, the frame directly? Whoa, there it is. Okay, now I am trapped inside this water wheel. But you know what? That's how life is sometimes. We we can always escape if we put our minds to it. Now, I believe Cleo is next on our list of folks whose bases we need to go hide an egg in. She has just expanded to include this giant snake here because she was worried that people wouldn't be able to find places to hide eggs like in and around her structure. What with them largely being weird ruins. I mean, this whole thing is a fun opportunity to, like, do some parkour hiding. But I know Cleo has wings, so that's not going to be too much of a deterrent. I was thinking maybe back here behind the snake, but I realized, uh-oh, another hermit has already hidden their egg right there. So Cleo's definitely... We don't want to put this on easy mode, where she can just find all the eggs at once. If I go into the mouth of this terrifying creature, or, ooh, actually, what if I just put it right here? That feels, that feels like a good hiding spot. So we're gonna pop that in there. And then we are on our way to our next hermit. Pearlescent Moon's base should be an easy one to hide stuff in. It's got... A lot more to it than almost everybody else's. There's all these little nooks and crannies in here. Like, oh, right in here would maybe be good. Let's uh, look at it from a few other angles. There's 
a bunch of interior spaces. I hear a bunch of noises. Okay, so like inside here, we could like hide one on the ceiling or... Hold on. Okay, hold on. I think I can do this without breaking the snowman. Okay, real, real smooth. Okay, now we need to do the trigger. Haha! -ha! Perfect egg hiding. Next base. ZF space is full of farms. I see things are feeding in along water columns and stuff from those farms. I feel like the thing I just did with the snowman was a pretty good way to hide the eggs. Who's that over there? Somebody's over there. So maybe we maybe we hide more eggs behind other creatures. Ooh, okay. So there's a trophy hall here. Hmm. What if we just hide the egg on top of the portal here, right? He won't. L He's not super likely to look up here. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Wait. 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 No. This is it. This is the spot right here. Perfect. Mm. This is. This is the. Oh. Didn't mean to put that on my face. Boom. Look at me. Brilliant, Joe. The most excellent ever. Great. And then can we take? Wait. Is he using flowing water through stairs to move items? Okay, I've never seen that done before, but that's that's really something. So we are on our way to Scars now. The obvious place to hide the egg would be inside the uh, Cookie Monster, because then Scar can't remove the Cookie Monster until later. And I want the Cookie Monster to stay forever, but actually just looking through this crazy... Wait, it, did False hide her egg right here too? Look at that. False and I had the same idea. Okay. We just need to pick a different part of the tree that wasn't the part False picked, right? That that makes sense. Uh, okay, so what about over here? Yeah, this looks good. Put it, like, right there. Perfectly concealed. Never to be seen again. So here is Iskel's Carrot Hill. This place is gigantic. So part of me wants to just try to find the most inconvenient place possible for Iskel to look. Like, you know, by way back down there or something underneath here. Okay, this is going to be a high traffic area if this is where the chests are, though. So that's something to keep in mind. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. See, like, putting the eggs behind the minecarts... I think these guys are in minecarts, right? Yeah. Okay. I think this is theoretically possible. Okay. Perfect. Look at that. He'll never look there. I mean, he might, but like... That's a really good hiding spot. And now I'm standing in the fire. Womp womp. <laughs> okay. So False's base is very vertical. Which is good. Did somebody already hide one in the... Uh, in the eyes of the eagle? Oh, well, that was, that was going to be my first choice. Hmm. Let's see, we got a few horses down here. What else? Got some trees, wandering trader llamas. I mean, up in the ceiling might be too obvious because that's going to be one of the first places. Ooh, look at this downstairs, though. Let's maybe, how do we get down there? If I wanted to go to there. Okay, so we got like a bedroom. Here's another example of, like, 
you know, I don't want, want to just do this every time, but this is such a good trick. That's not obvious at all. Wait, did somebody else put their egg on the other side? Hold on. I think there might be two eggs in there. Well, if if she finds it, that's going to be a really good spot for her. Um, womp womp. Sorry to whoever else hid theirs there. Okay, let's away before she comes back. The next egg we need to hide is for Cub Fan, who supposedly is living underneath Scar's tree somewhere. Okay, so this is definitely the part of Scar's base that Cub is living in now. So we just need to find a good place to hide an egg. I wonder if we put it in the cactus farm. If the cactus breaks it when it falls, then I think that's bad. We don't want to do that. Oh... Putting these underneath the sand is brilliant. That's a really cool innovation. Oh, I really admire this cactus farm, actually. This is this is very well done. Well, there's Doc's egg. I thought I finally found a good spot, but nope, Doc beat me to it. Hmm. Ooh, what about up here? Oh, yeah, this is perfect. We're heading off to stresses to see if we can find a place to hide some eggs. Whoa! What's that? There's like a whole chunk missing here. Big old cave down there. A little horse stable down there. Oh, there's cute little teacups. Hold on. What's in these little teacup rooms? Is this like storage and extra... Oh, little farms and stuff. Oh, that's fun. So what if we just hide this right back here? Boop. Just kind of rotate him outward so he's looking down at the crops, supervising. Perfect. You know, if, if she just pokes her head in, she might not see it, but it's it's not... Not impossible. Suma has a few builds already, as well as this crazy scaffold thing. He's got a lot of storage and stuff here. He's going to be in and out of this all the time. We want to find something a little bit less frequently visited. Like, look in here. See? This feels like a better place to hide Easter eggs. I don't think Asuma's necessarily going to be looking for him over this way. I th also... So these mobs look like they haven't been despawned because they're holding things. I don't think they're for a project, though. I think that might just be causing lag. So let's go ahead and take care of those. Yeah, because they would be holding, like, special items. I feel like we should probably just put this one up here. Looking good. Okay, so iJevin's house is right here under this giant slime pig. In some ways, just hiding it out in the front lawn here, or in this tree, might be good. That might not be too noticeable. Let's see, here's the portal. Is there anything on the back side of the portal? Oh! Oh, look at that! There was a gap on the back side of the portal there. And, ta-da! Perfect! That's funny. I've I'm loving that. That's my favorite one yet, actually. <laughs> it's just so silly. It's just such a good hiding spot. It's right in plain sight. He'll walk past that a hundred times and not see it, I bet. Oh, because it just blends right in. Oh, that is that is amazing. We have reached Hypno's house. I didn't even know that this was really even here. Like, ooh, I love the railroad track to wipe my feet on. Very simple art. Nice basement stairwell here. Ooh, finished basement. Nice floors and walls and everything. Then let's see what we got here. Ooh, pretty. We got some farms. There's not a lot of obvious hiding places here. This might be one where we go scatter the egg out in the yard. Uh, you know, two-year-old style. Maybe we just hide it behind the grill. <laughs> Somebody else already did that! But yeah, okay. So, 
good to see that other people are on the same rough trajectory. Yep, everybody's just throwing them out in the yard. <laughs> Sorry, Hypno. Your egg hunt's gonna be on baby mode. Perfect. Okay. And now we can look out at the uh, half-destroyed cookie monster, <laughs> I guess. Have fun, egg! And here is Vintage Beef's house. Let's see if we can find a good place to hide an egg around here. I l He's clearly terraformed a lot of this. He's got little half slabs in here. So this is part of his, his area. I'm thinking we just do that. Perfect. Seems like every time I try to go to impulses, he was online. Okay, so if he's going up and down these stairs here all the time, what's he not going to notice? Ideally, we want to have this in a high traffic area that he hilariously will not notice. So that it's so obvious later in retrospect. Okay, actually, wait, wait, right up there. Let's just go right up there. Oh, this is perfect. Right here. Already, little Eggman. Do your best. Now, like the ninja, we vanish. B Dubs' tower over here is pretty large. I feel like we could probably hide our egg somewhere fairly impressive here. I mean, he's definitely going to find this one, but it's just so funny. Yeah. Yeah, that's just pretty good. It's, it's going to get found, but I think it'll make him laugh. Wow. <laughs> Is it funnier if it's at a diagonal? So he comes down the stairs here. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Welcome to Wells Knight's house, which has some flowers in the front yard, a sign, and... Oh, there's at least one hidden egg. Whose is that? Is that... Oh, is that the Hypno Egg? It's hard to tell without being able to see the face. Okay. Yeah, this place is pretty sparse internally. Okay, so maybe somewhere at the roof meets... Dang it, Falls! Falls beat me to it! I was looking for a place like that. Dang it. Well, that's that's a real shame. Falls is too clever for me. There's the window box with the flowers up there. Now... What is that? Is it some sort of glitch? What is that? Why isn't that making any sounds? Okay. So there's an eternal flame cascade behind Wells Knight's house. So I don't know what's causing this eternal flame cascade. And I don't know why I can't hear it. Huh. Well, that was weird. Was the Eternal Flame Cascade trying to tell me where I need to hide? Where I need to hide the eggs? You know what? Maybe let's just believe... Let's just trust in the Eternal Flame... Uh, oh, no! Whoops. That's what happens if you accidentally place one of those directly on there. Luckily, I got a command that I can use to fix it. Custom model data set 32. There we go. Okay. So we have restored that pumpkin to its proper egg shape. So we can go place our final egg beneath... The sea, wherever this, uh... So somewhere underneath here is XB Crafted's cave. Still haven't figured out exactly where. 
Okay, so XP Crafted's deep cave is nowhere near here. We need to go a good distance away. So the coordinates for XP Crafted's cave indicate it should be somewhere around here. We're not really supposed to break blocks to hide the eggs, but there was literally no entrance to this cave. I'm at the coordinates I was told. I'm at negative 505, 1337. Right? See, this is exactly where I came down here. Well, yeah, negative 505, 1337. So we are in the quote-unquote XB crafted deep cave, I suppose. I guess I can just hide the egg anywhere. But it feels like on some level, maybe there's supposed to be he wrote deep cave. That makes me think there might be a cave that is deeper below this one yet. So why don't we go down here a little bit and just verify that there's not, like, another cave. Okay, so we got some deep slate noises. I'm realizing I am not prepared for lava right now. I don't have any torches. No, I can make torches. If I go ahead, and, yeah, let's just bootstrap an entire industry here. We're going to make a furnace. We're going to put some logs in the furnace to make charcoal. And then we can use the charcoal to make torches. And then we can hopefully find the cave that we're supposed to be going to. Once again, when, I, when we actually get to where we're supposed to be, I'm not going to break any blocks to hide the egg. But... You know, if you tell me to go to the deep cave at these coordinates and there's no entrance at those coordinates, I mean, I don't know what you expected of me. Eleven torches. That feels like plenty. Wow, we are really getting deep here. Wow, that was incredible. Okay, so I think we found the deep cave at the coordinates listed. Hey! This is probably... This is probably what XB wanted us to go hide the egg in. But, you know, on some level, since I went through all the trouble of mining down to exactly the coordinates provided, I kind of think it's funny to just leave the egg on the ground at exactly... Well, not on the ground. We'll, we'll put it right there at exactly the coordinates provided. Boom. Don't panic, Doomsday Clock Watchers. I was about to say we're one minute to midnight Eastern Time, but we're actually at midnight Eastern Time. That means the Easter egg hunt has begun. I need to get my Easter basket out. Oh, no. Oh, no, I left it upstairs. I didn't want to look around for my Easter basket before midnight. You know, I didn't want to break any rules. So rather than looking for that right now, we're just going to empty everything else out of here. I'm going to need my basket to turn in the eggs at the end of the day, though. Did I put it in here? Oh no. How could I lose something so important? I also haven't found any eggs at all yet while looking for the basket, which is kind of surprising. I thought that since this house is kind of empty, I would have been finding eggs left. Oh, there's a one! It's a Wells Knight egg. Awesome. Okay. There we go. One egg down. Now we just have one basket and every other egg to go. Did anybody hide an egg in with the creeper? No. Good. Okay. Well, that's one less thing to worry about. Any eggs hiding on top of the house? Maybe. That might be one. We're kind of far away. Anybody hiding an egg? Oh, three of them. Look at that, B-dubs, Doc M, and Scar. Wait, what was the Scar one named? Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Oh, that's fun. Okay. So we're up to four eggs. We can use the armor stands to kind of keep track of, I guess, how, how many we found so far. You know, under these little overhangs would be a really logical place. Also, maybe up in our little trees here. No. I wonder if anybody p put any in the ponds. Like, can you put an egg in the pond? Ooh, look. 
That's the Asuma egg. That was a good one. Oh, look at the stress monster one was hiding the armor stand. That's cute. Okay. I think most people probably hid them down in the thinking cave. Which is why I put the sign here so people would know. Maybe I left my basket down in the thinking cave. Oh, hey, it's a, a squid. The squid did not help. Oh no, oh no. Well, that that was maybe a second problem. <sighs> no sign of the basket. Good news, Jev is going to bring us a new shulker box, despite our idiocy. Or because of our idiocy, really. Let's just, let's just own that. That's on me. Okay, so this is where I get into trouble. Having this huge thinking cave here. Is there an egg hiding down in here somewhere? No. I mean, really, this is so extensive. People could have hidden something anywhere. Oh, anybody hide an uh, egg down there? No. I'm pretty sure there's one. Ah, someone's clever. See who that was. Oh, that's a pearlescent moon right there. Very cool. There's probably some hidden amongst the wordles. Ah, oh, there's one up there. We should get some scaffolds out of storage, too. Okay, seven so far isn't terrible. Whoa, was there one hidden in the uh, thing there? We are back down here with more scaffolds, ready to rock. Where was that one I just saw? Just saw it. There it was. Let's see, who was that? Did we not pick it up? Did someone just turn on a wild farm or something? Oh! Somehow it teleported upward. Well, I'm glad that we did the legwork there. I do think I saw one in the water pillar here. Let's see, how would that even work? Yep. Whose is that? That's Grian's. Oh, you rascal. Let's go ahead and chase that egg up to the surface. Great. Okay, we're up to nine. That was a pretty good spot. I will concede that. Oh, there's one. Aw, so cute. I think that's a little XB. <gasps> hey, found one. Look at that. So let's see who was clever enough to hide an egg up here. Is it actually on the cobweb? Oh, I didn't even know that would be possible. Very clever. Okay, oh, up in these little windows. <gasps> Cleo! Very clever. Oh, it, it popped over then down there. Interesting. And there's that. <gasps> Look at this one hiding inside the bush. From a very clever Zadaf, clearly. Just replant that bush right there. Huh, now that we know that trick, how many other eggs are hiding in bushes? Honestly, a lot of these tricks I kind of wish I would know known when I was hiding the eggs. If we do this again next year, we'll be so much better at this. Hey, Joe. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? Pretty good, man. Here is your replacement. Oh, thank you. I've found 13 eggs already, and I am having a fantastic time. Oh, rad, man. That's crazy. Okay, so we're going to ender pearl down there real quick. Boom. wonder if anybody else hit anything down here. So that's 14. Oh, whoa, look at that. That's 15, it looks like. What about down here? Did anybody think down here would be a clever place to hide eggs? Seems weird that there's not a single one on a wordle. Or the axolotl. Whoops. I'm missing Hypno, Jevin, and Impulse. 
And I didn't mean to take a screenshot there. But you know what? That's fine. I believe in us. We're only 55 minutes into this. You know, how, 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 how much longer could it possibly take? Let's go buy some... Oh, I found it. I found my Easter basket. Womp womp. Well, we'll apologize to Jevin for that later. But in the meantime, let's maybe go buy some night vision potions and some water breathing potions. Because we're going to need probably a lot of those. Uh, here is Cub Fan's potion shop. All potions, one diamond for five. Night vision, okay. And then are any of these water breathing? Yeah. Maybe this will inspire me to see something that I had previously missed. I kind of want to see if Jev found the one I hid yet. Nope, not yet. Okay. Probably should get away from here so I don't tip him off. I'm realizing there's a lot of dirt left in the dirt hut part of this. <laughs> Didn't really resolve all that entirely. Womp womp. <sighs> Why is there just a floating block of glass? That probably served a purpose at some point. Or so I thought, but... Who can say... Oh. Now, so as we descend into this place, it's time to drink a potion of water breathing and a potion of night vision. We are going to double check all of these large pools here in case somebody thought they'd get clever and hide an egg in one of these. Because, like, I mean, that's plausible. Sometimes people get clever. Let's check the parts of the ceiling that maybe we weren't going to see very well before without the night vision potion. Things should be a lot easier to take in. Let's check behind this waterfall. People love hiding things behind waterfalls in video games. I mean, I played Zelda. Dang it, nothing. I was just plum disappointed. I'm about 80 minutes into this process, and I think I need to come back at this with fresh eyes in the morning. So here we go. Here's an IRL time skip. Welcome to day two of egg searching. I'm about six minutes into wandering around. Haven't found my 16th egg yet, but I did find this fantastic box from Gemini Tay saying thank you for, uh, you know, helping out with uh, draining the ocean there. So we got the sea lanterns, we got prismarines, and we got prismarine blocks. Now, my inventory isn't exactly copacetic to adding things right now, but that is something that, that might help with some big lighting projects I'm going to have coming up. Lots of little things are starting to come together on uh, mega base plans. Maybe I need to start finding a site for that. Not right now, though, because I am wandering around my roof looking for tiny eggs that look like Impulse or Jevin. But, anyway... I'm going to keep searching. Time skip. You know, I was just opening these chests to see if I had room to put Prismarine from Gem in, and I noticed there's something kind of sticking out right there. I think that's another egg. That is the Hypno egg. Ah, fantastic. Now, that means we need to go check all the chests. There's another egg. Boom. Whose is that? The Impulse egg. Okay, all that's left is the Jevin egg. Now, Jevin ran this contest himself. He came up with the idea. He has had longer than anyone to brainstorm how not to fall into a spider web while monologuing, but also where to hide eggs. So let's try an ender pearl out of this. And then, okay, I feel like I've got a bunch of random chests. These barrels, though, wouldn't do that. It would have to be a chest. Let's look at these chests. These ones are basically open to... Oh, wait. There it is. St I was going to say stop the clock, but let me actually pick up the egg. Boom, stop the clock. The clock is, is in post-production, so I'm assuming that I knew how to stop it there. If it didn't freeze, that's fine, because we, we know what time... I meant to have it freeze at, which is whatever the time is on the screen right now. That's how long it took me to get all 18 eggs. So let's go ahead and turn this in. 
at the Easter egg egg. Oh, hey, what's this? Interesting. This squid is apparently selling elytra and armor. That's surprising. Did somebody... Is this actually a shop or did this just fall off a truck? I mean, because it's clearly labeled for retail sale, but... Okay, we'll worry about that later. Maybe that'll be in somebody's video. Keep an eye out for XP Crafted's next video. We are going to be heading down here. Boom. Now, all we do is wait. We're going to find out if we're in the running for the final round of this game, depending on how many other people find my eggs. I found none of the eggs I placed. So, as far as I can tell, I'm winning. Wait, I am winning because everybody else has an egg that's been collected and turned in, and I don't. I feel like this is a good time to yell USA or something, but either way, we should probably go and patiently await the results. Those will come in in two days. I've got some other things to work on, especially now that I got that Prismarine from Jim. Let's uh, start brainstorming ways to use that in the YouTube comment section below. Anyway, you may have noticed that this episode was mid-roll ad-free. That's thanks to Patreon sponsor Kathleen Heath. In lieu of that mid-roll ad, I will now read a haiku of my own devising. Houses grow nest-like, starting with sticks and adding little painted eggs. Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.